All right, ready, ready. Back again with another video on a review of Duluth Trading Company uh, gear. I did a video on uh, one of the shirts that I bought the other day. Now today I have another one that I bought from them, plus I've got a pair of the pants, plus I'm gonna do a review on the shoes, my shoes of choice. Um, so a little bonus today. First off, if you haven't watched the other video, um, a lot of them will go link up here. I don't even know how to do that stuff, but if you want to go back through my videos, it was the last one I did on Duluth Trading Company. But it was on um, just how they make clothes to accommodate a bigger person. Um, I feel like most clothing companies, especially for men, accommodate little guys or I call them skinny fat guys, guys with, you know, that are normal size everywhere, but then they have this big old gut. Um, as I said in the last video, I'm not very, I'm not very tall, I'm only like 5'10", but, you know, my weight fluctuates from like 265 all the way up to 295 at times. Um, right now I'm in a, a leaner phase at summertime, find myself doing a lot more activity. So I'm down around 265, 270. Um, so I actually... <laughs> I have like two sets of clothes. I got my big boy clothes and my slightly less big boy clothes. Um, but regarding Duluth, they make clothes to fit bigger guys that are overall big guys, not just you know have a beer gut. Um, and the way they do that is they they put extra material into the moving areas of clothing. So last time I said they put this extra material in the armpit, well, it's, I found out it's called a gusset. They do the same thing in the shirt and they do it in the crotch of the pants. So this shirt, again, is another Duluth. This is a double XL. Um, it fits snug. Like I don't want my clothes looking like I'm wearing a tent. It's bad enough being a big guy. Oftentimes you put on a, a shirt and it looks like a, a nightgown on you because to fit you everywhere else it's super long um but um it's not such the case with Duluth um I feel like the clothes fit me well I don't look like um I'm wearing a tent oftentimes or a picnic table um and uh I said in the last video their clothes are very pricey if you pay full price but I um pride myself in the fact that if I find something I want I'll look around and figure out ways of getting it at a much more reduced price. Either buying, like for example, knives, I'll buy them on the secondhand market, buy them used, um, that kind of stuff. But like with these shirts, these retail for like $65, $70, some even more. I paid like $12 for this shirt in their clearance section. So if you go to the Duluth website, go into the men's section, they have a clearance section and every day they're, um, and they're putting more stuff in and it's not all just last season stuff like now that it's summer um you're not just going to find winter stuff they have short sleeve stuff they have shorts they have uh, swimming trunks i mean they're always um putting things on clearance i think that's because they're always incorporating new styles um of clothing new um like brands within the Duluth brand um, and they just get rid of the old stuff and they bring in new stuff. But the one thing that I've found is the concept of how the clothes fit all stay kind of the same. So for example, this is a totally different brand. If you want to call it, I think this is just your typical Duluth brand shirt, but the last one I had was like a bear claw or something like that brand. And it's like, they're kind of, they're really outdoorsy and that's really expensive, but that shirt I still only paid like $17 for. Um, but this one is just your typical Duluth brand. It has buttons. The other one was Velcro. It had some like reflective like stitching in it. Um, this is just your typical lightweight shirt, which is perfect. Um, what I love about it is the gusset. If you can see, there is a whole section of extra material right here that is sewn in. So from here to here, this is a whole nother piece of material that's sewn in. You can see where it attaches up here, allowing you to be able to pick your arm up. It's not super tight around your arm. I mean, sure, there's still, you know, not a ton of room for my arms in the shirts. But I mean, when I'm 290 pounds, my arms are over 22 inches. Right now, they're probably 
let right under 21 so i mean that's not your typical upper arm so the fact that i can fit it in here and they're not like super tight around my arm that says a lot plus they come down to my elbow that's very important for me and i mentioned in the last video all the shirts i own have some type of like a glass sunglasses or eyeglass loop so this one the last shirt was under like where it buttons this one is right here so the great thing about this you can put your glasses in and they literally are attached to you they're not going to go anywhere you can bend over you can do all kinds of things so because what i do is i have such poor near sight like i can see forever distance but like right now everything's just blurry looking at this camera so i can function like driving and doing stuff outside but when i'm doing stuff close i need my glasses so i'm always constantly going for my glasses to my sunglasses so these are either on me or these are on me there's never a time when i don't have one or the other on me so it's nice to be able to go from these which are usually flipped up there to these which are on the eye loop and before i got these shirts i would have to just like tuck them in to the pocket like just have them hanging there and they always fell out and these i have two pair of these um ray-ban um glasses and they're already all scratched up from you know hitting the ground and they're, they're super expensive but anyway to review uh, from last time we talked about the gusset under the arm i love how they hang well around the elbow all the shirts button down at the collar so they're not going to flap up if you're like riding a motorcycle or something like this one doesn't have the button in the back but like the other one i had had a button actually in the back of the neck as well but another great thing they do is let me untuck this they take the buttons pretty much all the way down like most shirts this would be your last button and then you have this tail that when you tucked it in it eventually it's going to work its way out of your pants Gonna work its way out of your pants throughout the day and you're constantly having to tuck it in um, so the tails on the loose shirts are notoriously longer than normal so that you can as a big guy move around and then i could work their way up out of the pants and i've been wearing these shirts ever since i bought them and i never have to retuck throughout the day and any other shirts i'm constantly having to retuck um, because the tails pull up and out because you know anytime you go like this without the gussets on their arm it pulls the whole shirt up so again, a very comfortable shirt. This is, I mentioned in the other video, um, their sizes run or on the, run more on the larger end of the spectrum. So um, I would say if you order, like I'm a, this is a 2XL. Uh, I don't know if they go above 2XL. They might go 3XL, but it's true to form. I would typically wear a 2XL. So if you're an XL, order an XL. You don't have to order size up or size down. There's none of that guessing. Um, guess, guessing game with Duluth everything is pretty much true to size so um, that's great you can just order and be confident that you're going to get the exact size you want now if you're into the slim fit stuff um, Duluth is not really going to be your your uh, your, um, your uh, game um, if you're more into comfort um, it's it's not going to hang off of you, but at the same time, it's not going to be form-fitting. The clothes are just not tapered like that. They're made for bigger people, um, but still athletic people. Um, it's not like they're just making clothes for sedentary people. They, they realize that there are a lot of bigger people out there than are actually, um, you know, they do stuff outside. So that's great. So that's enough said about the shirts. I think I've beaten that in the ground. So... Uh, just to review the big the upsides of their shirts is they're they're cut for a bigger person not just in the gut but that you know I feel like I have plenty of room in the shoulder or the back the only downside I mentioned this last week is I like to button that top button I just like the way it looks um, I can't do that in these shirts um, neck is like 22 inches so um, that is what it is I, I can't expect them to make shirts for extra large necks um but plenty of room in the shoulders arms like i can lift my arms above my head i can reach not no part does the shirt like it feel like it's binding up or going to rip unlike other 
short sleeve shirts that I bought in the past, like Levi's. I mentioned in the last video, I can't really even buy Levi's clothes anymore, which is sad because they've started downsizing. Everything is kind of form fitted and uh, even the largest size double XL, not even close to fitting me, even at my smaller size of like 270. Um, so definitely a Duluth guy now, good quality, nice and thin and lightweight too. They're not heavy, like right out of the bag. Um, it was just a very lightweight shirt. It wasn't crispy. Didn't feel like I needed to like break it in. It's a very light and airy shirt. Um, perfect for uh, spring and summer, humid days. Um, so again, gusset, good. Button down collar, good. A little flap for your eyeglasses, good. Buttons pretty much all the way to the bottom, so it's not going to pull up out of your pants. The tails are longer um, front and back so that you can tuck them in. They stay tucked in. They come down to the elbow nice. And just overall, just a great fit. Now, um, I'm also wearing a pair of Duluth pants today. I bought these on clearance as well. Um, these are called the Flex uh, Ballroom Khaki Pants. Now, my assumption is ballroom, meaning you can dance around in them. Not that I'm going to be doing that, but I'm a big fan of just a flat front, like chino or khaki pant, no frills. I'm not into the super tactical looking pants with a million pockets. And, you know, I'm more in, I want to kind of like blend in now. I, I do have a complete like EDC I carry every day, um, but I don't want to like, have like the big bells and whistles. Look at this guy, you know, he's a prepper or he's prepared. I want to look more like I just kind of fit in. Um, so I don't wear the tactical pants that a lot of people wear. Um, but I do like a flex. So I would recommend when you do buy from Duluth, get the flex material. I mean, I, I guess it just has like some pop of like some type of like lycra material that's built in, but it, it adds just a little bit of flex to the clothing so you can bend a little bit better. Um, just a much more comfortable material. I, ever since I found the flex uh, style of clothing, like they make jeans, they make, you know, khakis, they make chinos, they make, uh, I mean, they make a whole line. They've got the cargo pants. I do have a couple pair of their cargo pants, but kind of the cargo pant thing is kind of getting old. It's, it's too many pockets. Like I'm never going to fill those pockets up and it's just a little too busy for me. So I've kind of moved to the flat front, just a typical like khaki or different earth tone pant that's got some flex material in it. But these pants, like I said, they're called the flex ballroom, uh, Chino. And they're originally, they're probably like 70, 80 bucks. I paid at 20, $20 for them on clearance. Um, and they're definitely one of my favorite comfortable pants. Now there's not, a, they're not there's nothing super fancy about them, but they're super comfortable. So I'm not going to take them off or anything. Um, they just fit well. Um, they got the extra uh, loops. So you got one in the middle, two in the, in the back. And I find a lot of jean companies and pant companies, they will not have the extra ones on the side so your pants will kind of buckle up where the belt is it um as the little fifth pocket very stretchy material and i <laughs> can't really show you but it has a gusset that is in the middle of the well here we go if you can see it there is a piece of material that is sewn in it's like a triangle shape now probably not the most professional videoing but again it's a, like a triangle piece of material about this big right in the crotch that allows you to be able to squat down bend and it doesn't feel like it's going to cut you in two um, the last thing about these jeans um, is at the bottom of the cuff they have sewn in on the back of the cuff an extra piece of material which is ingenious because oftentimes the back of your cuff will kind of drag the ground a little bit here and there. And they put an extra piece of material back there to kind of reinforce that so it won't wear through nearly as fast. But it's so kind of, it's not super obvious, so you really don't see it, but it is there. It's a whole nother piece of, uh, of material sewn into the back. But these are just flat front. Um, 
the material if you flip them inside and look at the stitching the stitching is done really well on them it's not a super thick material but you can tell it's a very quality material if you were to compare them to like a pair of uh, dickies which i've always been a fan of but again their quality has just gone down the toilet over the last few years also their sizes are getting smaller to fit into the hipster crowd um, so I can't even really wear their stuff anymore and if I do it wears out super fast just super thin just you know just cheaply made it's just sad to see these um, traditional American companies like Levi's and like Dickies just kind of go by the wayside now a lot of Levi's and Dickies are offering this alternative like on their website like more of like a like a throwback but then you're pay, paying these like super high priced um, amounts for clothing that was originally made for blue collar workers which that doesn't make any sense to me like why if it's a blue collar style of clothing why wouldn't why would you charge this price that only like a white collar um, person can afford doesn't make sense so I'll stick with my Duluth I have how many pairs do I have I have fire hose um, I started with the fire hose cargos because I remember they came out a few years back and it's just that fire hose material is nice but it is super thick and it's super hot in the winter in the summertime so I like this flex material it's much more lightweight um, it does stretch and come back it keeps its shape um, true to size so whatever size you are um, you can be confident that you're going to get the right size um, definitely don't wash any of this stuff in hot or dry it I hang dry everything's washed in cold and just let it hang dry and uh, you, you're you'll be guaranteed that it's not going to shrink or anything um, again if you just watch the clearance uh, section a lot of the pants will pop up I've I bought a pair like these in corduroy um, with the flex material built into it and it's the same pant but like it's a corduroy material obviously not going to wear those now but they'll be, I'll look forward to wearing those in the fall um, but they have all kinds of different style they have some more like tactical tactical looking pants um, but again I like to stick with the uh, flat front you know typical five pocket um, style of pant it just doesn't draw as much attention to you and um, super comfortable uh, and then they make jeans that are flexible um, as well same material um, but I can't say enough about it. I'll probably have eight or nine different pairs of Duluth pants in different configurations uh, different materials but my favorite are definitely the flex material in like a earth tone like a khaki uh, they have like a graphite I guess a darker browns lighter brown stuff they're just awesome all right so enough about the pants um, hopefully I answered anybody's questions just buy them you're gonna love them as soon as you put them on and for the price on clearance you can't go to Walmart and buy a halfway decent pair of pants for 20 bucks and these are gonna last you for a very long time guaranteed it all right last thing I want to talk about are shoes now I am just kind of like a I just love the old school look I've been wearing uh, Converse Chuck Taylors since I was a kid and I continue to wear them I don't like a, a lot of art support more of like a flat foot minimalist type of shoe don't want to spend a ton of money but I like to have a lot of different like colors and stuff to kind of I don't want to say color coordinate but I just get bored wearing the same pair of shoes all the time and I don't want to spend a ton of money because you know shoes do wear out and I don't you know, I don't spend a hundred dollars on a pair of shoes that are going to wear out in you know six months or whatever. Um, I do have boots and stuff that I wear to work in, but if I'm just like casual, like you know, just run around, running errands or whatever, I um, don't have to be out in the field or you know, um, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I like to go with like a Chuck Taylor and the old style, just the canvas ones, like the, either the low or the high you'd have to lace those things up because there's nothing holding them up and I hate to lace my shoes up I like to just grab them slip them on and when I get home take one foot slip them off so what I have found is that they make this style called the high street which has, has this padding made into it and then there's like an elastic band in the tongue that holds it up 
So there's a lot of material here to hold the shoe up. Now this isn't a complete high top, it's kind of like a mid, but these are called high streets. But the rest of it is a Chuck Taylor. But what I did is I take the normal shoelaces and I buy, I buy these elasticized shoelaces off of eBay. So you can buy them like in bulk, like I'll buy like four pair of black and four pair of white. And then in the shoes that I want the black laces, I'll lace them up and then I'll tie them off in the second to last hole because if I do this hole, the hole's too small to get my foot in. So I just tie them off and that elastic shoelace holds the shoe together because if you just wear regular shoelaces over the day, this part of the shoe will kind of pull apart and the tongue will start to move up out of it. And I'm just really OCD about stuff like that. So I came up with this little system um, and I have a million different color combinations. I'm kind of a shoe whore, um, just like shoes, old school shoes like Adidas, Converse, uh, Vans, I'm not a big fan of like Nike and other brands. I mean, just old retro style shoes. Um, but I don't spend a ton of money on them. But like these, I can get them off of Kohl's like online. They always have a ton of different colors and styles and um, you catch them on sale, you can get them for like 30, 35 bucks. And if you have a bunch of them, you rarely wear them so they don't wear out as fast. And I can take this, you know, just slip it on. And I'm good to go and then slip it back off and I just think they look good with jeans or khakis or whatever and I got a wide foot um, and they just fit my foot well so yeah get anything out of it cool if not you know whatever I'm just telling you what I do I like to be comfortable I don't like to sit and lace my shoes up every day or if they come untied half the time I just like to know I can slip one and off but yeah that's my story for the day um, if you're watching, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, let me know. Like I said, I'm probably going to start doing little videos on reviews of stuff as I of my favorite things. Again, I'm kind of in that part of my life where I'll buy once, cry once type of thing. Buy quality instead of buying junk that I have to replace. But at the same time, I'm also looking for uh, deals. I don't want to pay retail. There's no point in paying retail. I mean, there's so many ways of working away around retail, especially online stores. They always have promotions, um, especially if you like sign up for their newsletter, they'll give you like 20% right off the bat. So like Duluth, I know if you sign up, um, put your email address in, they'll give you like 20% right off the bat. So if you plan on buying some stuff, buy the bulk of it that first time around and you'll save yourself an extra 20% or whatever it is, plus, you know, items on clearance they're really good at returns and stuff like i've had to return a couple things and um everything comes in a bag um not boxes so it's cut down on like shipping costs and stuff so when you do get stuff shipped to you it's going to come in a big like brown bag and everything and it's going to be folded up in like a plastic bag be careful ripping everything open um just take like an exacto knife cut the bag open slide everything out and a little little, little plastic bag come out just you know, they, those usually are just folded in. You can pull the stuff out, try it on if it doesn't fit, put it back in, put everything back in a brown bag, you know, put some tape over it, and you can send it back to them. And they'll send you, um, if you contact them, they'll send you uh, um, uh, an, an email, a uh, return addressed um, packing, you know, slip that goes on the outside for free. So they're real good about that kind of stuff, but just don't destroy the bag because then you got to come up with another way of getting it to them. But yeah, um, 23 minutes, that's about on par for me. I think my next video I'm going to do is, I'm hoping today, I'm, I ordered myself a uh, waxed online trucker jacket from uh, Huckberries. And they're, the brand is, I uh, um, can't remember off the top of it, but come came from Huckberry. I said in my last video, I ordered one for my son when he finished uh, Navy boot camp. And uh, it's been one of his favorite things. And I wanted one when I ordered it from him. So excited about that, getting it today. And um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. It'll be like 56 or something here. And I'm moving my oldest daughter out of a uh, house she's living in. So I think I'll wear that tomorrow. And uh, I'll do a little review on it. Hopefully it fits. I mean, if it fits, that's another thing. Who knows? Might get it and it doesn't fit. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.